maybe like 2012, I was listening to Wiz Khalifa a lot. That whole era. Like the whole collection. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The whole catalog. Like, mm -hmm. what is that? Like 10 or 12 mixtapes or oh, something yeah, like yeah, that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, and just all those music videos that came out, right? What you just said, this, uh, what you just described, reminds me so much of that. Yeah. And I'm hoping that y'all can like create like some visuals and do like more podcasts and like other content as well around the music to like really make it like something memorable. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, absolutely. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the goal right now. I'm trying yeah. to figure out the right ways to do that. Yeah. I feel like I'm always a little better at the music than I am in the marketing and all that stuff. Yeah, no. No, but oh, yeah. for me, it's that. And it's really dope to produce because it's kind of creating that backdrop for these guys and in that same way really trying to push you know what is their music their, you know their verses all that type of stuff yep yep and you know that's poetry so rhythm and poetry that's absolutely they're writing they're writing down their memories as well that's right um okay cool you've been to urban light yeah tell me about your experience there man great place great place i feel like there's so many people that i know who i don't want to say wouldn't have connected without that but like really that was a place to having do a that, space to meet for that yeah did having you ever go to space. honey yes you did yes yeah. no i uh yeah my uh fiance and i i remember hey, used to go there very regularly <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but uh no um urban lights is a great spot there's so many artists who i feel like I've seen and been there myself, clicked with, gotten to know a great, like Tim is just the man. Like Tim has been just great in terms of opening that place up, allowing it for listening sessions, open mics, all of that. Like uh, Vlad G as well for hosting a lot of the uh, open mics that they did and a lot of that stuff and putting some of that together. Yeah, I um, kind of know who that is. Like, yeah. I feel like I should. Yeah. No, he's done some dope stuff. I did, I want to say it was like April, they did a um, artist like showcase thing. And so I did one where I had like, I had a slot where I did like four, I didn't perform, but it was like four or five songs I produced that I had people come through and play. Oh, okay, that. okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Because I remember at Sunset they used to do like producer showcases. Yeah, yeah. Like, do you have any like goals for to do something like that, or like ambitions to to try to like make something happen like that on your own? Or I think something like that could be dope. I think that's not right now my focus because I feel like my focus, what I love, is rap music, and so like for stuff that for me is more just like producer showcases that tends to be just like beats and stuff like that sometimes i probably focus on that less when it's like an opportunity to do a showcase with like me and a rapper and we're going to do some songs or i'm going to play some go. beats and they're going to freestyle i'm all in on that type of shit but i feel like from as a fan that's just yeah. me as a fan the stuff i like to listen to is that what about live producing have you ever tried that yeah i'm not against it but I need to have my shit right. You, yeah, right, 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 right. You would almost want to have like some pre to like you know what it's gonna sound like. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I'm going through a um, couple of days on the Buster Baxter show because he's on KRSM now, and I'm gonna do some shit where I think I'm gonna do some beats on like my 404, and then I'm gonna have Bushido Chop come through and uh, spit some verses on that. Okay. So now you just said a couple things that like I need clarification on. Buster Baxter. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Who's that? DJ Buster Baxter. Um, for those who don't know, he has a show on KRSM, local oh. DJ. Um, yeah. Okay, so DJ Buster Baxter. DJ Buster Baxter, yep. yep. Has a show on KRSM. Yep. Oh, KRSM. I know KRSM. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And then the, what was the third thing you said? Bushido Chop. Bushido Chop. What's, who is that? Uh, local rapper, local okay. MC. Um, See, I'm, I'm trying to learn. This is yeah. called Staring at the City. Just, by the way, if this is your first time watching this, it's called Staring at the City. It's because I'm looking, I'm really looking, I'm trying to understand and see and put the connect the dots. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bushido chops? Yep, yep. No, for those who don't know, definitely check his shit out. I think on social media, on Instagram, he's like FC Baby or something like that. Cool. Um, no, he's a man. He and I, I've got a few different things in the works I'll try and plug, but like he and I, he produces a little bit right now. And so he and I are working on a project where I'm mainly handling the beats. Um, but it's fun to make beats with him in the room because he's a producer too. You're and doing he's a doing lot. Raps. Yeah, yeah. You're doing a lot. <laughs> Dude. You're working with a lot of different artists. I've got right now a project with Righteous that I told you is almost done. Yep. Um, the one with Bushido Chop that yep. we're working on. A project with Vinny right now that we're like... Shout out Crooks, man. Absolutely. Shout out Vinny Crooks. Vinny is the man. man. Shout out Vinny Crooks. Yeah, no, can't say that man. enough. <laughs> can't say that enough. Vinny is the man. Um, got a project with him we're working on. Actually, we have a couple different things in the world. Shout works. out to LaShawn. Um, so yeah, no, I've got all that... And then yeah. this project I've been working on too. You got your own project. Yep, yep. You sent me just like a folder of beats one time too. I haven't like heard them anywhere else too. So I'm like, maybe I haven't been listening or you're just. No, like, I just sent those to you. You just go crazy. That's, <laughs> see, you know what I'm saying? Look, hey, yo, shout out. I, I got like a limited audience, but 
right now but like you know what i'm saying they uh like to work with people so you know that's dope and that takes a lot of work so just shout out to you either that or you just really are natural and you're in there just like making beats you know what i'm saying so i don't know like it's kind of both there's so many ways to make beats now like yeah. on the you know the koala app on the iphone i know no 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 it's basically like it loops. koala app yeah so okay. the, yeah check it out if you produce but um it uh it's like a looper on like your phone and so it's so yeah. easy for chopping up samples like for me it's kind of like a skeleton of like beats and so i feel like with that it's so easy to be on the go and like Listen to samples, snipe something. Because you're a sampler. Out. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Have, have you ever run into any issues with that? Like getting flagged for samples yeah. or anything like that? No, no. I always figure in my head if I ever do, that means the song popped off enough. That Straight it's like up. not a bad thing. So I tell the people around me, like, if I get sued, like, don't act surprised when I'm not stressed. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 um, okay, okay, okay. So do you also try, try to find ways to, like, chop it so it doesn't get caught? Or, like, that really just doesn't doesn't. At bother. times, depending, if it's especially if it's something that, like, this is well-known. Then, yeah. yeah. Like, it's like, cause for me, it's also, like, I don't need to just, like, take something that's well-known and just ride the, like, the hype of that. I'm trying to kind of create my own thing so if it is well known then try and chop that and make it my own um or it's really fun and it's more like it's fun for me to try and find stuff that is just obscure or something that like people don't know and really dig deep in whatever way that is whether it's online record shops all that yeah and um uh, i just like I'm, I'm i'm actually out of questions but i'm just curious now like what who other what other uh minnesota producers or artists do you like not uh, no, strictly just producers or beat makers. Do you like work with or do you know of? I honestly don't work with many of them. You don't producers. know any of I feel okay. like I've spent work. so much of my time in the music scene finding people who are vocalists yeah. that really like that I can work with work. in that way. Work. There are people like um, Quasi Uno, who's the producer in Basement Gang. With, okay. Uh, Seku. Okay, okay. Um, Shout out. Yeah. No, he's the man. Um, he and I haven't like worked together on beats like but that. But you know but, of. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Um, Styx is another guy who. Um, because I'm really trying to create an ecosystem. I just said this in the last yeah, conversation yeah. I had with Yari. Yeah. We were talking about what's going on here. We were wondering why it seems like a city like Atlanta, which has the same population, mm -hmm. can have a whole ecosystem mm -hmm. where you wouldn't necessarily need to work your job. Mm -hmm. I know you said like that doesn't bother you, but like Yeah. No, no, but in that in that way, yeah. So I'm just trying to like see like can we put together an ecosystem here really and like create a situation where like a lot of people can eat. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. that's really my goal like with this if that can happen from this or like somehow it can lead to a situation where that could be the case that would be really cool because I teach mm -hmm. and I would love to teach because I want to yeah. <laughs> you feel me no I completely feel we all, whatever you're doing you want to do it because that's what you want to do there we go yeah yeah okay so no, I don't so, know. Yeah, I don't know how we can get to that point, but I completely feel you. No, just by having conversations is the, like yeah. the first way. So yeah. I'm just saying, like, who do you see? What do you see? Like, how do you feel like people could come together more? Like, whatever you like at this point, whatever you really want to say, like to my audience. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean, for me, it's all about collaboration. That's why I've been so excited to be able to work with like this crew that I have been. And for me, as a producer, it's so nice to have like I keep talking about that like close knit group of people. And I feel like the way that I see, you know, any any progress i guess beyond where we're at is not just people being solo it's finding that crew like you know working with that like um supporting each other you know and going to shows like really trying to support other artists and all that yeah um because everybody needs that yeah straight up straight yeah. up straight up straight up yeah have you ever seen any artists from here that you know like quote unquote make it well, yeah, I mean, there's people from here who have made it for sure. That I mean, you know. Though. Not that I know personally, okay, okay, no, okay, not cool. at all. Yeah. Um, that would be dope. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? And then I'm like, okay, what does that even mean? Like, right? So. I know. That's exactly the first yeah. thing I thought of is like what it means to make it. Like, I feel like yeah. so many people have a different definition of that, um, which is not a bad thing. I feel like my definition has always changed. I remember at a point when I was like early on, I was like, if I can just be in a scene and have people know who I am and like be getting beats out and having people I'm working with in my eyes I've made it and I feel like now I'm but like, now you're there I feel like I'm kind of at that point <laughs> yeah, yeah. but now I'm like you know making it would be able to be not to have to work a day job or you know something like that okay, so okay, I feel like so it probably levels. yeah probably always is changing respect yeah yeah well okay shit cool yeah I appreciate you checking in with me man you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm excited to see like how your levels progress no I'm excited I'm excited for it too yeah um I think you're very talented. Straight up, no, I appreciate for you. Real. I appreciate and you. That, and like this, this beat making is is worth is worth money. 
but it's worth a lot more as well. Yeah, it's you art. Know? That's the way so, that I view it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. No. No, I've got um, this album coming out um, probably beginning of January. It's going to be titled Things That I Can't, Things I Can't Speak About is the name of it. Um, going to have a single coming out called Patterns. Probably look out in about a month, month and a half, video coming. Um, people that I worked on the project with, I named a lot of them before, but Juice Lord, Vinnie Crooks, Nucky, Righteous MC, Sekou, June the Kid, both Basement Gang, um, Bushido Chop, Y Kalik. Um, Naj, Reiki, I think that's, it's 10 dudes, so I think that's the whole list. Just spreading, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, like, Cause all they, they know all these different artists too, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so we're working on right now, I'm organizing, and it's really close to, I'm really close to having the details finalized, but an album release show. And so I'm really excited to do a show, have a few sets open up, then do the album straight through, which I think is gonna be dope because there's so many people that work on it and all that. Um, so really have them come out and just do the full album and all that. I won't probably really be even doing much, but just enjoying it. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to just sit back and say, like, this is what we did. Yeah, most of the work I do is in the studio anyway. Yeah. Um, very cool, man. Very cool. Where? Do you know where? Can you say where? I'm not going to say where yet okay, because okay, I don't okay. want to get ahead of myself. It's, it's really close to being finalized, but I don't cool, want to get ahead cool. of myself. Yeah, yeah. No, you good. No, 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 you're good. It's all good. I thought I might be able to sneak it out, but no, don't trip. Um, okay, cool. Well, hey, hey, you heard it here first. You heard it here second. You heard it third. Uh, whatever, whenever you heard it, you heard it. So, shout out Ace P. Hey, appreciate you having me. Thank you for coming through. Um, respect, man. Uh, actually, I'll say this. If yeah. there's anything you want to say, because this could go anywhere into the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's anything you want to say like to someone who like might just hear this randomly, what, what might you tell them? <clears throat> what the fuck would I say? And then I'll, I'll let hey. you go. If you're hearing this right now, send me your hottest 16. <laughs> Send me bars, man. <laughs> Respect. <laughs>